Firefighters back at a Waukesha landmark that burned down on New Year's Day. Crews are monitoring hot spots for Farcara's lanes. Good evening. I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shannon Sims. The family-owned business has been around for generations. Investigators tell Ricky Mitchell they've narrowed down the source of the fire. She joins us now live. That's right. We learned this afternoon from fire officials that the fire started in the kitchen area behind the bar, though they're still trying to determine exactly what caused the fire. In the meantime, people have been stopping by here all day, seeing the damage and telling us that this place was very loved. Carolee Sheasley and her daughter, Kayleen Rodriguez, have both worked at Fracaro's for years. And while they're not related to the owners, they said they feel like family. I've been bringing my three year old here since he could walk, mm -hmm. and he always goes bowling here when I work. So definitely, every time I pass it, he goes, Mom, bowling? We go bowling. Founded in 1933, Kayleen says customers loved that the bowling alley was still very traditional. You had the paper. You had to write everything on the paper. It still had ashtrays and everything, and everybody loved that. Fire officials say they're not investigating the fire as suspicious and will work with the owner's insurance company to determine the cause. One of the owners, who was not ready to speak on camera, said the building was empty at the time as they were closed New Year's Day. He said they are already committed to rebuilding and opening in time for fall leagues to start in September. I mean, I cried most of the night, you know, it's a lot of memories in there, but I'm glad that they're going to rebuild. It's a blessing that they're going to do that. And now you mentioned earlier that firefighters are still monitoring hot spots here. I'm told that they plan to come out every so often tonight just to make sure that everything is out inside the building. The damage, the total damage right now at the building is estimated at more than $250,000. Reporting live in Waukesha, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4.